بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میں سسما تارک از ہیئر وتھ یو فرام قائد اعظم رینجرز اسکول اینڈ کالج نارتھ نازم آباد کراچی ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس اباؤٹ ڈیٹا پروسیسنگ سائیکل دا لرننگ آبجیکٹو آف دس ویڈیو آر انٹروڈیوس دا ڈیٹا پروسیسنگ سائیکل the stages of data processing cycle what is the source document and turn around document the data processing cycle is the set of operations that used to transform raw data into meaningful information The intent of this processing is to create meaningful information that can be used for decision making and enhance the business. The linear data processing block diagram is in front of you. In this diagram, the data is provided to the data processing system in the form of input. and the processing system process this data and then provide the output that is called information the first stage of this cycle is input state at this stage the data does not contain any information and this data is called the raw data because this data is meaningless it is fed into the data processing system to be converted into meaningful information that can be used for decision making input stage contain the following activities the number 1 is data collection number 2 is data capture then encoding data transmission and data communication data collection what is data collection This is the stage of gathering data from the environment and preparing it for input in the data processing system. The paper or document on which data is recorded or collected when it is collected is called source document. The next stage is data capture. At this stage the entering of collected data into a data processing system such as a computer system this stage is also called the encoding stage and what does encoding means encoding means converting data into a form that is easier to input into a data processing system in this example the date can be encoded as ddmmyyyy and in the second example the name of a person named shahid ali may be encoded as in the short form sa uh, the encoding is used to save a lot of time and it is also used to reduce the errors the information about products is stored in barcode is another example of encoding The next stage is data transmission is the stage of sending input data to the processor and carrying it across its various components it also involves carrying data from the processor to the output devices like printer monitor and other output devices the last stage is data communication it is a set of activities that allow data to be sent from one data processing system to another data processing system after the input stage the next stage is the data processing stage at the data processing stage uh, the raw data is transformed into meaningful information to be understood by users modern data processing systems such as computers follow instructions that are called programs to process data 
Typical programs may include like operating systems, word processors, spreadsheets, web browsers, and so on. The next stage is the output stage. The output stage is where information or process data is presented to the user. Output is presented through several output devices like printers, monitors, and speakers. After users have viewed output, they can understand what the data means and make decisions on the basis of their understanding. This is also called decoding. Decoding occurs when the information that a code represents is made available to user. When we enter the initial SA and the computer displays the name of person Shahidali on the monitor, it is an example of decoding. The next stage is the storage state. A lot of time can be saved if, if output can be stored for future use. A list of daily temperatures for one week can be used for next year if we need to compare the average temperatures for two years. The storage stage is where information is stored so that it can be used later. But where can that information be kept for so long? Hard drives and pen drives are used to store information. This is the data processing cycle in which data collection, input data, processing the data, and display the output or information to the user and then store this data for later use. Turn around document. Turn around document is a document that contains the results of one processing activity, has more data added to it and is used as input for another processing activity. And this document is called a turnaround document. Thank you very much for watching my video. Like and share my video. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.